Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you are all doing amazing. So for those who are new to my channel, I wanted to mention I'm in California um, and I am just so thrilled that you're here and thank you so much for uh, coming on over to this video and without further ado, let's get started. So. I went to Bath and Body Works and I cannot believe my luck. I, and I have the walkthrough video um, that I will uh, put in the back of this video if you'd like to see it. But yeah, I um, was going to visit family today and um, I was like, let's just stop in to uh, check out this Bath and Body Works because I don't normally go to this one. I only go to this one like three, four times a year uh, because it's not in my city. So, uh, but yeah, it is, uh, I just, I cannot believe it, you guys. So I found, I found, I found the flamingo. Oh my goodness, you guys, she's so pretty. Now she's super heavy and I'm gonna um, actually, um, so I'm gonna try to bring her up as close as I can and then I'm actually going to, what I'm gonna do is I think I might even stand up and get a little bit closer to the camera because I want you to see the detail on her. So she is about five or six pounds, I believe. So she's super, uh, this is a weighted, like definitely a heavy piece. Um, and she's just so pretty. So I, you know, I, I, I cannot believe I found her because I've heard that she's come into the stores and uh, she, like I said, she, I thought, you know, I was hoping I would find her online like like any day now, but I still haven't seen her online. And the fact that like I walked in the store today and there she was, like just there she was. So I'm gonna put the, uh, let me go ahead and start the glitter. Let's do that, that's the fun part. By the way, it is super, it's pretty pricey piece, friends. It's like, um, it's pretty pricey, but the thing with Bath & Body Works um, candle holders is they're super, they're super unique, you know, and it's like, I will never find a flamingo candle holder like this ever. I mean, I, I can't even, like, I don't think I've ever seen anything, anything similar to this. Um, and the, it's, I like to collect them. You know what I mean? I feel like this will never go out of style. Flamingos never go out of style, right? They never do. And like flamingo decor. And I feel like this is going to be so cute in the summertime. In fact, when I was in line um, to purchase this, um, a lady was like, that is so pretty. And um, she's like, it's so funny that you like are that that's there and that you're buying it. She's like, because um, I'm a, a science teacher and I was just teaching my students how flamingos, when they're in a group, they all will turn their heads a certain way. Like if one turns their head a certain way, they all turn their heads a certain way. I was like, I didn't know that. She's like, yeah. So she was so cute. So um, it was just really fun. She's like, what a coincidence that we were, I was just like talking to my students about flamingos and how like they, how they are in nature. So anyways, you guys, here's the front view of her. And um, I feel like I want to name her. I don't know what I want to name her yet. Like, I just feel like she needs a name. I'm like, I don't know what I want to name her. I feel like maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll put it in the comments below. <laughs> if you guys think of a good name for her, I don't know. I just feel like she deserves a name. I, I'm rolling through some in my head, but like, I just, I gotta figure it out for sure. But she's like, I don't know, like maybe Pinky. I don't know, she's so cute. Or I like the name maybe Ruby. I don't know, you guys. I don't know, these things are like, names are just coming to me. But, okay, so here's underneath. Now I have to say there's a couple, like little tiny critiques about this this candle holder. I still would buy this. I totally highly recommend this candle holder. So underneath, okay, I need to get a little bit closer. I'm going to scoot a little bit closer and then um, go a little bit further back. So I'm gonna be like kind of be really close up, you guys. But I want to show you the um, the underneath. You can see the battery compartment is here, right? So when you go to take the batteries out to replace them, um, it's it's the other candle holders I have with Bath and Body Works, the globes. They don't have this, so it's like the you have to line it up just so that the actual on off switch is part of the like face covering for the battery cover, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's kind of like I get nervous when I was putting the battery batteries back in that when I was like putting it in, it was like really kind of, I don't know, I kind of had to like really be careful. I didn't break the parts where, you know, the teeth line up and, uh, and to, it had to like, so instead of just trying to line up two things, I had to like kind of line up three things. So I had to line up the on off switch and then the two teeth. There might even be three teeth in here. So yeah, but this was, I can't even remember because I had 20% off. This was $74.95, you guys, $74.95. I'll go closer. All right, now I'm gonna turn it on. Like I said, let's see where, <laughs> I totally forgot. Okay, yeah, here we go. So, 
Oh my word. Okay, I'm gonna back up. I feel like I'm like extreme close up right now, but I really wanted you guys to get the, the full effect of how it looks. Um, and there, like I said, tiny little critiques. She's still totally beautiful. I thought that she would have the glitter going all the way up her neck, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I thought it would just go all the way through, but actually what it is, it's two pieces. So this is actually like a glued on piece. It appears to be glued on and it's completely, it's completely sealed. So like, like they made this piece probably first or however they assembled it and then they glued the neck part on. So there's no way the glitter can go up here cause it's completely like sealed, like closed right here. So, but wouldn't that have been really cool to see like the glitter go all the way up? but um it's still very beautiful i love the fuchsia it's such a happy like super cute summer cut color and they did do this silver on the interior so uh you know and i'm okay with that like i think it looks really good with the silver because i know that like i was wishing the candle holder the red candle holder would have a red you know the the uh rim around that would be red but with this one i feel like it goes really well i feel like it complements just fine and so i think it's it's totally cool now the face is so cute so what it is it's like a painted face i'll go in closer so you can see her little beak and um so those are the two things i want to point out i also want to point out the led lights in there okay can be very bright so when i had this at a lower like when i um, got home and I put the batteries in it. I immediately put it do down on like a lower desk downstairs. And I was like, whoa, like I could kind of really, my eye went right to the LED light inside. Cause you know, there's glitter floating around in there, but there's also an LED light. So I feel like this needs to be at like a, not like where you're looking. There's a certain like, like the way I had it at a certain one, it was too low. I could see right at the light and that's all I was really mostly seeing. I could still see the glitter, but my eye went like right to like, like a moth to a flame. I like went right to that light. So when it was a little bit higher, you know, you can play around with it and see what you're comfortable with. But I then felt like it was a better, like I put it on my dining room table and it looked better. Like I, then I could focus more on the glitter and I wasn't so much seeing the bright light of that LED. So those are the um, three kind of major critiques, not me. I don't want to call them critiques because I still think it's a fabulous, fabulous, I can't say that word. It was fabulous. I can't say that word, you guys. I cannot say that word. It was fabulous. Why can I say that? That's going to bother me. It's fabulous. Let's just put it like that. It was done very well designed and so gorgeous. Now, the glitter, it appears to be, and I still have more stuff to show you in this haul, but I just want to focus on her just a little bit more. So, the glitter appears to be like a dark fuchsia glitter. So, it matches the, you know, hot pink. I guess this is more like a hot pink. Um, I would say it's like a fuchsia hot pink, right? Um, I'm trying to think, what would I call this? I'm going to call this like a fuchsia or hot pink. I would say it's more fuchsia, wouldn't you? I don't know. But anyway, oh yeah, the base is also a, um, a, uh, fuchsia color, like a pink fuchsia. I didn't even recognize that till now. So it really blends very seamlessly together. And again, this is, you guys, I look, I feel like I've been lifting weights for the last, <laughs> I mean, since I started recording this video, it's like really heavy, but I don't mind it. Cause like I said, I want to show you everything about this, her little tail. Um, it would have been cute if they somehow could have put like her like little legs on her, but I don't think that would be possible because how it's so ha such a heavy piece. So it looks like she's got her legs like tucked in, you know, like floating along the water and um, but yeah, I do love flamingos. I think flamingos are so gorgeous. And whenever I go to the, you know, when I see zoo, when I go to the zoo or if I see flamingos like on TV, I just think they're so elegant and so, they're so magnificent looking, right? Like I just, they're so, the colors that they are like in nature, they're this color naturally. It's amazing like absolutely amazing so i totally love her so much so let me show you the rest of my haul and then i'm going to turn the lights off and show you what she looks like um, and she really does glow beautifully with the lights you know lowered and because i'm under two really bright lights right now so it's kind of probably a little bit harder to see all her glory but again she's so pretty she's so pretty yeah oh here i'm going to show you um I brought this candle here to show you what it looks like actually holding a candle, right? So she's gonna be holding a candle. So that's what it looks like, holding a candle. I hope I have it the right direction. So that's the side profile, okay? And then this is what would be forward facing, holding a candle. So she's floating along the water holding her candle. 
<laughs> She's so cute. So here we have it. All right, guys. I know I'm talking a lot about this, but I just want to show you. Make sure that you're seeing the 100% like everything, the little details that they have done to make this. Again, you know, even right here, I'm just seeing things now. Again, as I'm looking back at the camera, I'm seeing another detail that I just noticed is that she has her wings. These are her actual wings right here. So there's a different, there's like a different pattern right here, okay? And then she's got her wings right here. They're folded in. So I'm gonna go in closer so you can kind of hopefully see that on camera. But she's got that different kind of um, texture there. Not texture, but like I said, pattern of her uh, feathers. And then she's got her little tail feather. And again, the I like the ombre, what they've done with her beak. And okay, so, all right, you guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put, let's see, I have my globe right there. She's gonna be up soon in my background, I promise, because but I still love my heart globe too. But um, I really want to put her up in my background soon because she's just so pretty. She's so pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward with the next part of my haul. And then again, I will definitely turn the lights off so you can see how pretty she is in the um, lights up in the dark. Okay, so I ended up finding, you guys, look. Okay, I'm gonna back up. I'm like really, really close. I'm like way too close to the camera. Okay, so here we go. So I found the, so they call this, it's so cute. The name of what they call this is just so darling. She's called, or this bunny is called, bunny butt um multi it is so cute so um this wallflower plugin is absolutely so darling i love that it looks like it's going it's like it's like you know you see the little rabbits um little um the bunny butt the bunny butt and it looks like it's going into the pot like it found a little pot to hide its carrot in um or to you know get a carrot out i'm not quite sure what it's doing but <laughs> so cute with the color of the orange is nice like contrast and the greens it's so perfect for like um you know obviously easter springtime i think it's so cute and this is actually like a um like a velvet feeling it's got like a furry feeling to it so it definitely has a nice soft feeling to it now the glitter okay i'm gonna go oh, oh, this this haul calls for me to go like it backward or zoom in and zoom out and i don't have that ability to on my um camera here i'm actually recording on a video camera i don't have that ability as of where i'm sitting but i want to show you a little closer the glitter on the bunny it's so pretty i love when they add that little touch of glitter and it's just so cute I'm so excited. It's just a very, I love it's like little bunny feet and it's just, it's like the Easter bunny. It's just like, I just love it. It's so cute. I, you know, I never ended up seeing the polar bear that I saw in the uh, ads, not the ads, but the, you know, the flyer that was, you know, at Christmas time, you know, the polar bear that was supposed to be a candle holder, like little candle little clinger thing, you know, uh, never saw the polar bear. So when I saw this, it made me think of the polar bear. Um, and I was like happy. I was like, yay. Like at least, well, I really wanted that polar bear. I mean, I asked about that polar bear. I looked for that polar bear. I never saw the polar bear. Did you guys ever see the polar bear? <laughs> Cause it was definitely in the like picture of like with what they were bringing out. So yes, I feel like, you know, it's all as well. I found a, another little glittery little, now I know this is not a candle, little clinger thing, but I still feel like it gives off that like really cute. Um, it's just, it just, it's so Eastery and I love it so much. So here we go. I'm gonna go closer again. And here's the side profile. Now it was kind of expensive. I mean, normally, okay. So this was $16.50. So, you know, they range. They range from like $12.50. Well, this, the ones that don't have any de design on them, they're just the uh, basic ones are about $5.50. But they range from like $12.50 and up. You know, they can range all the way, as you know, up to like $20, $30 something dollars. So this is like middle ground. Yeah, $16.50. Uh, but again, I had 20% off. So it made it go down to $13.20. So I'm totally happy. I'm so excited. I'm like, you know, I can actually kind of hear my flamingo. Let's see if you guys can hear it. I think I can hear the motor a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna put uh, her next to the mic here. So she has a little bit, she's kind of a little noisy, like, you know, but that's okay, not super noisy and it doesn't bother me at all. But I do hear the motor. I do hear the motor running. 
Because with that one, with this heart one, let me turn this uh, flamingo off here. Let me see where I'm forgetting. See, I'm looking for the switch on the side, but it's actually underneath too. So it's not the nice toggle switch on the side. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. So with the, um, I don't hear, I really don't hear, I don't think I'm hearing much from the um, heart one. Um, and, and let me just show you this one more thing. In the uh, Without it on, maybe you can see the feathers, how they're really, uh, it, really showing more with the, maybe the light off. I don't know if it shows more with the light on or off, but okay. Now, the next thing I want to show you I got was pocket backs you guys they had some new ones okay i'm gonna <laughs> this is funny i'm going back and forth in this video okay so okay here's a little little fun little um little fun thing about bath and body works the so the pocket backs it's five for eight right but if you buy more than five it'll still be discounted to like whatever the five for eight price would be so i think it brings it down to let's see the five for eight brings it down um, okay, so I have my uh, my calculator right here, so I should know this by now, but let's see. Let's see, five for eight, okay, divided by five, so it makes them 160, okay. So if you wanted to buy like 20 more after you after you buy the five, five the initial five, those extra 20s, 20 um, pocket backs should all be, they should be, you should always, of course, double check, but they should be $1.60. So that's what I did. I added, I bought more today because this one, I actually bought a lot of this one because I was like, what? They have pink bubble gum. I love bubble gum. And so I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I got Life is Sweet. This is so, so cute. I was like, oh my gosh, I got to totally eat a lot of these because I don't know, I just I just had to. And you guys, I don't really need any more pocket bags. I have so many, like a huge bag full. But I actually got some of these for gifts too because this is such a cute, cute scent. And um, I love it. It's so much fun. It has a little gumball machine on it and then little gumballs floating around on the package. And um so I got three, I got more than three. Yeah, I got, trust me guys, I got more than three. There's three. And then we got, oops, we got four and then five. So I am going to try it on and, and um, because I have not tried it on actually. I was just like, I just know I'm gonna love this. So I just know, you know what I mean? So I'm like, I better just stock up. Um, okay, I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit and then I'm gonna um, see what it smells like. Okay, while it's doing that, I'm gonna show you the next ones I got. So, I got Mango Cove, and I had to get the Mango Cove just for the leopard on there because I love cats. I love lions, leopards, cheetahs, tigers, cat, house cats, all types of cats. <laughs> like, I, I love all animals, as you guys know. I'm a huge animal lover, like huge animal lover, love animals. And so, but when I saw this gorgeous, gorgeous cheetah like walking across, literally it's like in action, it's walking across this pocket back. <laughs> so I was like, I had to get it, totally had to get it. So this is Mango Cove and I do really love mango scents. So I bought not one, but I bought two. And the last one I got is the monkey. So this is Island Margarita. So they're coming out with animal themed, um, uh, you know, pocket backs. I had no idea. So this is so cool. So Island Margarita. And fun little fact about me, when I was like a, a child, like, you know, when I was just probably learning to talk, my mom and dad, I said I used to always walk around the house and um, lift my knee up and be sucking my thumb and saying monkey, like over and over. <laughs> so I like, I think I have like a connection with monkeys. Like I really think that like, and like they don't know why I was like saying monkey over and over, but like I'd go monkey and then I would just keep saying it over and over. So I love monkeys obviously. And <laughs> so whenever I see that, whenever I see monkeys, it kind of just triggers that memory of that I used to do that. And I don't remember doing that as a kid, but um, I've seen videos. It's just really cute. So, um, but yeah. So let me go ahead and tell you what I think about. Now I layered Vanilla Bean Noel um, on before I did this video. So I'm gonna, it's kind of hard to distinguish it right now because I did put a lot of Vanilla Bean Noel on. And you know, Vanilla Bean Noel is pretty strong. Oh, it's ho, oh my gosh, you guys. You guys, it literally smells like, you know, bubble gum. Like, um, you know, like the, Okay, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, it's, what does it come to me? Okay, what is the one, the um, Bazooka Joe gum? Like, do they even make that anymore? That's what it smells like. It also smells like bubble, like the bubble gum, like bubblicious, or you know what I mean? I have not chewed bubble gum in forever, you guys. I can chew gum, but I have don't chew bubble gum because I have crowns in my mouth, like a couple crowns, and I don't want to like get those out. So, oh my gosh, this is, and it almost, it's totally bazooka uh, Joe gum. It's to, you know the one with the comic in it, that gum. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish I bought more. Okay, so I did get a total of one, two, three, four, and five of those. Okay, now with my additional 20% off, it made them go down to only $1.28. What a deal, right? What a deal. And they had like three, you know, bins of this one at the store. So that tells me that this is like, obviously gonna be a very popular one. I think this is gonna be a really, popular one like I think a, a lot of you guys will really really like this one like me I just really and it's so perfect it's a fun it's like one of those scents I you know I've never had a bubblegum flavor or um, bubblegum scented pocket bag like so this is something totally new you know it's totally different from what I'm normally getting oh it's so good <laughs> it's making me happy like smelling that makes me happy and it's actually making me my mouth water like I want bubblegum right now so bad Okay, let me try Mango Cove. Let me try Mango Cove. So I want to see what I think of this because um, I get mango stuff too for my hubby really likes mango. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just give this a whirl. Let's see here. It's very, whoo, very strong. I got to let it uh, dry down there. It's very strong okay the um like the uh rubbing alcohol is like the strong part of it that i'm smelling right now i'm not really picking up much let me see let me try this again let me try this again i'm gonna try a different part of my like, different real estate i need different spot on my arm here that i haven't used for you know trying these out here i'm not it's mostly Mm, not really okay I'm gonna let it dry a little bit I'm not really getting much but rubbing alcohol yeah I that was a huge <laughs> that's it's so 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 light in the mango you guys so light and I bought two of them I bought two of them so you really cannot, I real. it's almost not even a mango scent that I'm getting. It's called Mango Coke. It's not even like a mango. It's almost like a perfumey, like a perfumey scent. I'm not picking up mango. I truly am not picking up mango. It's so light, you guys. I can't even figure it out. It's so, so light. Um, it's mostly rubbing alcohol. I'm getting in just a teeny bit of something, and it's not mango. So this one is not, not my favorite at all. So, okay. So yeah, I did get two of those. Okay. So yeah, I really, and again, I did put lotion on my arms too. So maybe it's not like working with the lotion. Maybe that's why I'm not really smelling it that much. Anyway, I'll try it again tomorrow and see what I think when I don't have like lotion on me. Cause that can affect the way you know, the chemistry of like the scents go, you know, so I could be totally throwing that off. Okay. Then the last one I want to try is Island Margarita. Now I know this is, comes out every year in the pocket backs, but I just want to refresh my memory and, you know, in the pocket back and see what I think of it again. Because I'm so excited about the bubble gum one. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh yeah. This is amazing. This is absolutely just smells just like the candle. Oh yeah. It is so, so good. It, it's just like the candle. You can definitely pick up the um, lime in there. It's so pretty. Oh, I love this one. Okay, so that's that. Now I'll tell you how much I paid. Then I'm gonna turn the lights off and I'll show you how this looks in the dark. Oh, so pretty. Okay, guys, I'm so excited. Okay, so today it was, let me see here. So the bunny butt, the bunny butt was 
$13.20 after my discount. Then the pocket backs were $1.28 after my additional 20% off. You guys, I also have three um, must have minis to redeem, but I'm waiting because like I mentioned in my walkthrough videos, I'm waiting to hopefully find the Easter must have minis like Tutti Frutti and you know, some more summer scents, spring scents. So I'm just gonna hold on to those. I have, I think, till the 27th or the 28th to redeem those. And uh, my birthday's on the 28th, you guys. Yeah, I'm the last day of this month, February 28th. Isn't that wild? I was this close to being a leap year baby, this close. Like I was born on a leap year and I was born in the afternoon. So I was literally so close to being a leap year baby. I wish I was born on leap year. That would have been really fun. But anyway, I still like having my birthday on February 28th. All right, so then, um, what else? What else? So what else? Okay, so the big item, the big ticket item on this order was the flamingo, and she cost. So the flamingo was normally seventy four ninety five. It went down to fifty nine fifty nine dollars and ninety six cents, and I saved with the discount fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. So I think that's a really good deal. So overall, um, my total discount for everything was twenty three dollars and sixty five cents. And I paid a total of $89 and 80, let's see, $89 and 86 cents. So they really feel like that's a really good deal. And um, I'm so excited now. I'm just so excited. So let me go ahead and turn the lights off. I'll be right back and I'll show you how it looks in the dark. All right, friends. All right, you guys. So as you can see, she's pretty bright. See that? You can see my face. So that's the LED light right there. Um, that's the only thing I wish that somehow it could have been... You know, but I know the shape of this flamingo might have probably made it hard to kind of disguise that LED light. But I'm going to go in closer so you can see the glitter. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. So here we have. You could probably hear the motor here. You can probably hear the motor. I'm not sure if you guys can. There's the front view. So yeah, it's like a fuchsia glitter again and um, swirls around in there very nicely. I wish that they put a little bit of more glitter in this too. I think it was like the heart globe that's next to me has a lot of glitter. I wish that they would have put a little bit more glitter. That would have been really nice too. So I hope it's again, hoping the camera's picking up the gorgeousness. Yeah, there we go. And then, um, yeah, so this is, let's see, so, yeah, and then here, you, the light kind of, oh, if they did such a good job of, like, putting, gluing this together, the, the, like, the neck part, that you really don't really feel so much of a seam, just one little area of a seam, but you guys, they did a really amazing job putting this together, I don't know what the proper word is for, like, connecting these two together, like, um, but yeah, it's so good, okay. So I'm gonna turn the light back on, but I just wanted to show you the closer image of what it looks like. All right, guys, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn the lights back on. All right, friends, so that concludes what I ended up getting today at Bath & Body Works. I'm just, again, so thrilled about finding, you know, my candle holder and my little bunny butt. <laughs> That's so funny to say that, my little bunny butt. And then my bubble gum pocket back is just those are amazing so anyways i'm really thrilled like i said with everything i found i hope you guys did enjoy this video like i said i will put the walkthrough video of the store in the back of this video and um, if you'd like to watch that and um, i just wanted to mention if you're new to my channel i would love if you would subscribe and my returning family thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for always being here and your kindness and love means so much to me so please always know that and um if you guys know of a name, I should name her. I think she's going to be my new mascot for a while. <laughs> so I like to change up my background, and I think she needs a name. So anyways, you guys, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear it. I think it would be fun. And um, so with that being said, have a great day again, you guys. I'll see you very, very soon with my next haul. Till next time, friends, take care. God bless, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.